Will chiropractic help back pain? That's a question we get asked quite frequently. Hi, I'm Dr. Ray Drew with the Upper Cervical Spine Center. And so really to answer that question, it really depends on what type of back pain we're talking about. So let's say um, you uh, go out and you spend a whole day, maybe three or four hours or more raking leaves, something you're not used to doing. You don't do a whole lot of physical activity. All of a sudden that night, the next day, your back aches, it's sore. Well, in that type of situation, it's more muscular. And so you're probably better off just a hot Epsom salt bath, ice if necessary, and rest. And just allow those muscles to heal and it should go away. Now, if it's the type of back pain that after a few days doesn't go away or it keeps coming back, week after week, month after month, year after year even, um, then there's probably a bigger problem somewhere else that needs to be addressed. Or you heard of people like bend down to pick up their toothbrush and boom, their back went out. Well, obviously it wasn't the way that that toothbrush that threw the back out. There was a weakness that was created because of a problem somewhere else and it just took the right movement, the right direction, and it got you. So in that situation, chiropractic works better than anything out there, right? Medications just mask the problem. They don't fix it. So you don't feel it, but then the next time you go to bend down and pick up something like you shouldn't, then bam, it could even rupture a disc or create something that might cause a uh, uh, need surgical intervention. So how does chiropractic actually work with back problems? Well, I'll tell you, as an upper cervical chiropractor, what we have found, 99% of all back pain actually starts somewhere else, not in the back but actually in the neck. The reason is, is because your brain is designed, it has to be level always, it has to be, it has its own reflex, it's called the writing reflex, and the whole purpose is to make sure that your brain is always level this way and this way. So, if, maybe years ago, you had some sort of a fall, a, a, a car wreck, a sports injury, even birth trauma, can cause one of the top two bones in the in the neck to get out of line. When that happens, the head sitting on the bone goes with it and it throws the brain out of balance. In this situation, let's say the bone went this way, taking the head that way. Well, now the brain's not level. The brain isn't gonna put up with that. So what it'll do is it can't move the bone that got out of alignment, but it can move other bones down below there to get the head level again. It might cause you to pull down one shoulder, pull up one hip, it will, contort your body to level the brain. If this happens early enough while you're still growing, that's where scoliosis comes from almost 100% of the time. But what will happen is as the body compensates, it will drop one shoulder, raise one hip, make one leg short. So now you have stretched contracted muscles in the neck, the upper back, the lower back, <clears throat> all the way down even into the legs. Over time with gravity pushing down, that creates weaknesses that can turn into Neck pain, headaches, shoulder pain, back pain. It can create pain down the leg. It can affect your knees, your hips, your feet. If you imagine you're designed to be symmetrical, everything balanced while gravity pushes down. If you lose some of that symmetry, let's say you put a high-heeled shoe in one foot and one shoe and a flat shoe on the other, don't you think after a few hours of walking around like that, that your back might start to hurt a little bit when that leg's shorter than the, than the other one? Of course it will. So it's going to create those compensations. At the very least, it creates a weakness somewhere so that when you make that right movement the right way, bam. Okay. So what we do as upper cervical chiropractors is we find the problem, the, the, comp, the, the effect, then we go to the cause, make sure we make address the cause, get this corrected. And then what will happen is, is everything will start unwinding all the way down your spine. That's how chiropractic can help back pain.